Thank you for tuning in with me, Enchantress the Babbler. That is I on this evolutionary high of an uprise at this time. And so tuning in, I am going to be giving just a little mini oracle message for those that um, this is meant for. You know, you'll know it because you'll feel it. That's one way to understand resonance in every kind of way. Is does it resonate within your own entire, your whole entire being? Thank you for tuning in with me again. I just want to thank you to all my new subscribers and all the people showing absolute love and support on all my social media platforms, not just here. So make sure to check me out in other places over there too, like enchantingbabble.blogspot.com. You can sign up for your free email newsletter so that you never miss an alignment beat. And also on Instagram at Enchantress, E-N-C-H-A-N-T-R-E-S-S, -S, the one and only Enchantress. And then here, I just want to say thanks for the over 10,000 views. And now I'm almost up to 100 subscribers. I know it may not sound like much to people that may have thousands, but you know what? I started with none. <laughs> So, you know, I am just grateful, hon, okay? And it's little by little, step by step, the processes and the dedication that we take on our own path to just not give up, even if others cannot see for you the very thing that you are dreaming up for you. You are the creator and manifester for you. So understand that to be truth in every kind of way. So I'm using the Angels and Ancestors Guide um, for whatever messages are going to be received at this time. I'm trying to keep this um, as short and sweet so that all my videos can upload, you know, without having days go by with the same message trying to be uploaded. <sighs> okay, yes. Um, I'm a little tired, but um, that's okay. Transform and unveil your gifts. Yes, yes, yes. Move beyond ancestral patterns, which is a lot of us what we're working on at this time. We're moving past the conditioning of our lives that have created certain kind of patterns of behaviors, thoughts that become things, certain kind of um, lifestyle creations that may necessarily not be aligned with us now. You can't say that they weren't a part of you because they are. Unlock the magic within existing within yourself because that's going to be the truest um, identifier of authenticator existing within you because that is what is most true, the unveiling of you going beneath the veil of superficial layers that conditioning has us strapped up on in you know, dream and journey. Trust your talents in changing time. So what message are we going to receive at this time that I'm going to dive in? Water guardian, connect with your emotions. Connect with your emotions. Sometimes our emotions try to come to the surface. And we stop them. And so they beat they beat inside of us. They make noise inside of us. And they show up in some kind of way. Even if, you know, nervous tendencies, the tapping away when we try to deny certain things, or the stomping of our feet, or the shaking, or the addiction to keeping moving, moving to avoid certain kind of feelings. Gotta keep busy, gotta keep busy, gotta keep busy. So that this way, these feelings don't come out of me. You see, but they want expression, you see. So they show up in many things, sometimes in the tappings. You ever get mad and you start shaking or something like that, or you have something excitable within you that just wants to break through and it's just like, you're trying to contain it too. It's just like, okay, or when you're nervous and you're tapping, 
playing with your hair, the fidgeting, you know, something wants to get out, you see. It's being contained within your body. This entrapment, you see. Release it, you see. Just some of the messages I'm hearing. Here we go. High priest, intend and create. Didn't the high priest come out the other day with the high priestess? You see? High priest, intend and create. Set your intentions and then create. Move forward. That's not no debate. Set your intention by getting real with your own appeal and then take charge and create for yourself the very things that are in alignment with you for your passions are pouring through. Unleash the wild within, my friends. Ignite your passions and unleash the wild within. Intend and create for you. Yes, this is truth. See from a higher perspective and create for you. Okay? This is truth. Recognize that you have the power to change your life. Face your fear and align with the light. In many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between both worlds and is able to not only and is able not only to divine the future but to help create it too. He may be a leader in his spiritual tradition or in, pra in pagan traditions. Be second to the high priestess, but he is always spiritually connected and disciplined with great respect for his creator and his particular practice. In a reading, this card can represent a spiritual figure, leader, or teacher in your life or an aspect of your past that has led you to where you are today. You are a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have been some setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal, and expand, and then watch it happen right before your eyes. Beautiful message at this time. And I do want to read Eagle. Which is right here. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me while I find the eagle for you guys. Eagle. Here we go. See from a higher perspective. Look at things from a different angle. Fly higher and see the infinite possibilities existing between you and I on this evolutionary high of a rise at this time. For have you ever become the eyes of an eagle soaring high? One of the many things that I have been blessed to experience, and I'm going to go with eagle because that was intuitively what I had received. When my eyes became this thing that was able to see in the eyes of a bird flying high, you see eagle and I, hawk eye, eagle and I floating high. Oh, this shamanic ride, let me tell you. I was so filled with surprise because I could not believe my eyes that were seeing that were not mine. The transferring of data being supplied by being able to channel from some other divine existing up high. Moved by a spirit was I. That's another story and that's not for now, but if you're interested in hearing many of my multidimensional ways of traveling this transverse universe, multidimensional burst of existence, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also hit me up sometime and I will be more than happy to um, channel and share with you many of my um, quantum experiences on this planet. And so... 
seriously, if you have any recommendations for any videos that you want to see posted by me, please feel free to send me an email. You can send that to enchantressthebabbler at gmail.com or, yeah, no, enchantressthebabbler at gmail.com or you can make leave a comment there in the description box wherever the comments go, you know. Or send me a DM on one of my other social media platforms and, you know, let's get cranking. So, in animal medicine, both Native American and Celtic, the eagle draws his power and strength from the sun. He is a powerful, strong, and courageous guide who is able to see for miles and miles up high. Trust, I have never seen such vision as I have seen through the eyes of this magnificent creature right here before me because... In this human realm, I wear glasses. In this human realm, I would not be able to have seen as such sights as I had was made able to see. The eyes are such a beautiful creature, you know what I mean? I even see owls too. All the spirit animal wisdoms, all these things that we can accumulate and have relations with. Intimate relations of getting to know you, of getting to know all about you. <laughs> yeah, so he approaches all things with intelligence, grace, and poise, and has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action. When the eagle card appears in a reading, it shows that you have real ability to take things higher and move beyond the limitations of your ego and selfish desires. Eagle medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or visions may be limited at this time. And is there a chance that your own desperation needs or ego could be blocking you from Seeing the potential in your current situation. If there are other people involved, you are being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. If you are feeling the need for something to change, transform, transmute, how can you take the highest of highest roads? Get into your inner know. So now you know. Know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good, it will only hold you back. Eagle medicine can help you change this. The eagle brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of Father Sky and invites you to do all things from this place of love at this time. One more for the road. Choose your path to came out and unleash the wild within. Now this card, I have this shared on my Instagram page at Enchantress. Also on my blog, enchantingbible.blogspot.com. If you want to read the full meaning of this card, unleash the wild within. Also, if you do check it out, do let me know what you think about this card. This card I'm going to read before calling this video saying this video is going to end choose your path direction guardian okay this card is beautiful connect with your deepest desires then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing what makes your heart and soul sing what songs do you sing from your heart and your soul that are Speaking to you, mind, body, heart, and soul, sometimes the music that we listen to reveals to ourselves much more than we are willing to tell ourselves out loud. The Direction Guardian card represents the angels of direction. These amazing angels are the ones who come to us when we are at a crossroads and don't know which way to go. When we are unsure of what is right for us or the bigger picture, they can't help us to know what is best for all involved. The Direction Guardian card refers to the vision of the Hebrew prophet Ezekiel, who is said to have seen an angel with four different faces. One 
was a child. Shut up. One was a bull, one was a lion, and one was an eagle. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. These four faces show that angels can appear in many guises and guide us in many different directions, but always for our highest good. I have chats to talk about this too. Learning to identify the spirit guides that are near you, dear to you, and communicating with you. Because there is energies. If you were finer tuning the um, reception load that you might be receiving to learn how, especially if you're not seeing, but you're feeling and you want, and you're getting into your inner know for your grow. Maybe you know because part of your path is, you know, um, has certain kind of limitations that cause certain kind of clarion audiences to um, show themselves to you in different outlets. Whether you hear, see, um, just know, or whatever the case may be of however it is that you receive, maybe it's all of the above. Um, but the messages itself and the energies you connect with you know, reveal themselves to you when you open that door to really, ooh, um, want to get to know you, know all about you, yes, alright, your path isn't set in stone, no it's not, and your angels and guides have no expectations for you. Nor should you have any for yourself, okay? There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong, as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn. But life is to be enjoyed and savored. So if you know that there is a decision that needs to be made, and particularly if you are feeling indecisive, figure out why you're feeling indecisive for. Is it fear holding you back? Is it your conditioned line of attack that is meant to keep you, deter you away from what you truly want, need, dream, breathe, breathe? Choose the path you know is going to make you light up, bright up, show up, feel alive, inside, outside, nervous, nerve-wracking, adrenaline rush. Ah, <sighs> there we go. And choose with your heart thank you again for tuning in um <laughs> again i am just completely thankful for it all